These three words will be likely to elicit very different reactions depending on who you're talking to. Paul, Newman, Panda. I'd like to imagine a scenario where only uttering these three words over and over could either have you be taken away in a straitjacket by large men in an unmarked car, or have you attract a crowd around you in anticipation of something big about to happen. Since you're here, I'm guessing the latter, so strap in and get ready. The Rolex Daytona is an almost mythical creature, an extremely difficult watch to source, particularly the Panda, so nicknamed for the black dials on a white dial that loosely resemble our favourite bamboo munching bear. The original watch, owned by Paul Newman, engraved on the back from his loving wife, actress Joanna Woodward, with Drive Slowly, sold in 2017 for $17.7 million. The second most expensive watch ever sold at an auction. The actor was well known as a car enthusiast and an accomplished racing driver, so one can understand the sentiment from a loving wife. There's no question that those earlier Daytonas were handsome watches. But interestingly, the Rolex Daytonas were not particularly popular upon release or after. It wasn't until the 1980s when collectors discovered them and immediately nicknamed them the Paul Newman. After some truly beautiful pictures of the watch attached to the handsome actor were discovered. The watch we're looking at today is a modern day Daytona with some much needed updates. A watch that is named after a famous racetrack in Florida should definitely have a tachymeter scale, and one we can see here is engraved in the fixed ceramic bezel. It's soft to touch, but you can just make out the engraving with your fingertips. The dial is slightly busier than the original Daytona, but it also has more information to convey to us. Just underneath the famous Rolex crown, we have richly printed text detailing the superlative chronometer and official certified chronograph. The white and black dials are beautifully finished and will hold up to any loop. The indices are applied and fairly unique with their squared but rounded off edges and rounded squares at the 3, 6 and 9 markers. All these indices contain a Rolex propriety loom that glow a beautiful faint blue. The long, minute and silver hands are quite plain but contain a sliver of loom also. I think it's fair to say that it's not the most legible watch for time telling purposes but the small dials are very easy to make out. We have a small seconds hand at the 6th position, a 30 minute counter at the 3 position and a 12 hour counter at the 9 position. The star of the show here is the center chronograph hand which Rolex states is accurate to within 1 8th of a second. The tiny arrow tipped hand definitely gives the impression of a high quality timing instrument. The Daytona is waterproof to 100 meters, but it's unlikely that any parrotfish would see this watch on your average snorkeler. One small part in achieving this will be the screw down trip lock crown and the protection around the engage and reset buttons for the chronograph. These can only be used after unscrewing the surrounding protection function that prevents accidental pushes under or above water. As per all Rolex watches, the movement is hidden behind a plain back. Even if you're not married to John Woodward, it's a blank slate for a nice engraved message that could perhaps also apply to your driving habits. The movement that is not on display here is the Calibre 4130 that offers bi-directional self-winding, a minus 2 plus 2 accuracy and a power reserve of about 72 hours. Rolex offers some of the nicest bracelets in the business and the Oyster flat three-piece links that keeps this masterpiece attached to your wrist is no exception. 
is soft to touch and extremely comfortable. The polished middlings can attract fingerprints and smudges easily, as does the polished case and lugs, so get ready to keep a microfiber cloth in your pocket. The legendary Rolex class, with its easy link extension, is again a patented and brilliant solution to wrists that can swell or shrink in hot weather. Another great feature is the tip of the clasp that moves a couple of millimeters, allowing you to easily disengage the buckle. The safety that secures everything in place with its lovely Rolex crown is the icing on the cake. So what can you say about one of the most famous watches in the world that hasn't been said before? Enzo Ferrari famously stated that Ferrari will always supply one vehicle less than the market demands. It seems that Rolex will always supply 50% less than the market demands and it is difficult and expensive to obtain one. Should that stop you from trying? Well, no. These are some of the most well-made, beautiful and iconic watches of our time. It's so often the case, never meet your heroes. In other words, it's often disappointing. Not so here. The Rolex Daytona will sit comfortably on your wrist, be a great conversation piece, and if this is your aim, be a solid investment. Ultimately, this is a watch to be worn, much like a Ferrari is made to be driven. Buy one, don't stick it in the safe. Your risk will thank you for it.